click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will talk about web interfaces and its purpose with the database. Why the web interface need to be connected with the database and how the interfaces can serve most of the popular services while fetching data from the database. <music> Wave interfaces nowadays become absolutely popular because it provides an interactive environment for the user and then use it from the front end where the data can be used and fetched from the back end. Now the front end can be used in any of the computer system. It can be a mainframe computer, can be a laptop, can be a supercomputer and all. Now the front end computer doesn't need the user to install another special purpose software to get the web browser active. It actually the interfaces on the user and the database that the user can interfere with this particular database in an orderly manner. Now the need for connecting the web services or the web browser to the database is of two reasons. The first one is that whenever we want to get information, the web browser actually serviced by the web server. So first, when we click on a web server on a particular data, now the web browser requests the web server that to connect with the database. The web server in turn connect with the database to fetch data from it. Now when it fetches data from the database, then it can be actually said that the web servers interact with the database, perform the following transactions on the database and then gets back the result as soon as possible to the web browser. Now the web browser as a part of the web interface declares and displays the result to the user. So in this way, if there is no connection between the web browser and the database, then the interface was of no meaning. The second reason is that the web browser always need that the updation of the data. Like if a database is being updated, then it should reflect it in this particular web server or the web browser. Now say if this type of static data, if it is handled by the web browser, that it is not a dynamic one. If there is an updation of the database, we cannot have the update on our web browser. Then the actual use of web service or the web interface is become meaningless. Because the web service gives us a particular important data that can serve a particular web server or a collection of web server. Now whenever the update on the data is missing from the web service, that means it is not capable of handling the dynamic data, then it could be problematic to the user as well on the backend on the database too. Because say that the product information is being updated from the database, but as a static data, it was not at that point of time updated to the web browser. So the user is not seeing the actual modified data. It is seeing the previous version where again when the database will be updated on a web server as a dynamic part, it will only can see the update then. So it is not desirable at all because we all want a dynamic and instant data that is being updated on the database. So that is why the web services or the web interfaces need to get connected with the database. Now when there is these two reasons that whenever a web browser clicks on a database, it requests the web server to get data from the database, as well as the updation of the data or the dynamic data need to be replaced with the static data that we can have if we do not have a connection with the web services or to the databases. These two merges in the web interfaces that connects automatically to the database when we click on an information. Now the text that we display on a web service or a web page is made up with an hypertext markup language or HTML. An HTML is a text or the information on an object that is displayed on a particular formatted basis to tell the user that this type of information is get connected with the database.
and now there is hyperlink that means the word or the text or the image or any object is being linked with any other documents other web pages or a database that we can connect by clicking on them is known as a hyperlink so this hyperlink and this HTML provides us a way to connect to the database from the web interfaces. Now the server side scripting, the client server scripting, the web servers, the web clients all are a part of this connection between the database to the web services. Now there are many applets provided by Google, Apple, the Gear software, the Fessy software. This type of softwares are inbuilt to the web browser to provide the web interface an interactive medium for the user from the backend to the database to the backend. Now in this way, the connection gets stronger because the user doesn't need any special purpose software to get downloaded or installed to run or see the particular information from the database. So the connection becomes extremely useful. Now that is all for connecting and web interfaces to the databases. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.